Wild Talents by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 6a. Conservatism is our opposition, but I am in considerable sympathy with conservatives. I am often lazy, myself. It's evenings, when I'm somewhat played out, when I'm most likely to be most conservative. Everything that is highest and noblest in my composition is most pronounced when I'm not good for much. I may be quite savage, mornings, but, as my energy plays out, I become nobler and nobler, and lazier, and conservativer. Most likely my last utterance will be a platitude, if I've been dying long enough. If not, I shall probably laugh. I like to read my evening newspaper comfortably. And it isn't comfortably that I come upon any new idea or suggestion of the new in an evening newspaper. It's a botheration, and I don't understand it, and it will cost me some thinking. Oh, well, I'll clip it out, anyway. But where are the scissors? But they aren't. Hasn't anybody a pin? Nobody has. There was a time when one could maneuver over to the edge of a carpet, without having to leave one's chair, and pull up a tack. But everybody has rugs, nowadays. Oh, well, let it go. Something in a newspaper about a mysterious hair clipper. This is a new department of data, though hair stealing links with other mysterious thefts. Where's a pin? Oh, well, there's nothing in particular about this matter of hair clipping. A petty thief stole hair to sell, of course. Vague suggestions hanging over from reading of various phrases of black magic, but if there is a market for human hair, hair clippers are accounted for, still. And so I could go on, every now and then, for many years, feeling a haunt of a new idea, but feeling more comfortable if doing nothing about it. But, daytimes, I go to libraries, and, if several times, close together, something that is new to me in newspapers attracts my attention, I get the purse somewhere to make a note of it. These vague, new ideas that flutter momentarily in every mind, sometimes they're as hard to catch as is the moment they flutter in. It's like trying to pin a butterfly without catching it. They are gone. They can't develop, because one doesn't, or can't, note them, and collect notes. We'd all be somewhat enlightened if that would be any good to us, were it not for easy chairs. Where's a pin? Hereafter I'm going to have a pet porcupine around the house. One can't learn much and also be comfortable. One can't learn much and let anybody else be comfortable. Two cases of hairdressers, windows broken, and women's switches stolen, probably to sell to other hairdressers.